Hi, my name is Bruce Baltz. I'm Vice President of Education and Business Development for Bon Vital. I'm here at Oakworks today doing a little stone demonstration on the neck and different shapes and sizes of stones that we can use to access certain musculature of the neck. And I'm working on a Prolux table with the ABC system. And it's an electric lift table, and you'll find this to be very advantageous to your body mechanics. Um, depending upon the size of your clients, as you know, they come in the door, you can't always adjust uh, manual tables that easily. So I'll be using a little bit of oil. This happens to be muscle therapy oil by Bon Vital. I happen to like to use this oil when I do stone massage. And it has dwarf pine in it, which helps increase circulation in the muscle tissue. And it has other aromatherapy essential oils in it as well. So when you're working with the neck, you want to make sure that two things that I do. I always have my arms rested on the table, so I don't shrug my shoulders any more than I have to. And I take the shape of the stone in my hand. So I, my thumb doesn't touch the stone when I'm working with it. Because I know when it does, then I'll be squeezing it, and the stone will win. You'll end up hurting your hands. You want to lift, first lift up into the upper traps with the stone. You stay. Oh. Okay. All right. Now, I'm lifting up into the upper traps, then I'm going to glide that stone up the neck. This hand on the other side of the head allows me to get this petrissage motion in at the occipital ridge. Just kind of a nice relaxing warm up as we're trying to just increase basic circulation. And again, this position, if I turn my hand over, the stone's going to fall right out. When you're doing stone massage, that's the way it should be. If you're applying the stone directly to the body and it's on a flatter surface, such as the back, if you lift your hand away, the stone should stay right on the body. When I'm working here, if I turn my hand over, it should fall out. And then as you start to warm up the tissue, I might want to do some more specific work. Make sure that your fingertips are always at the end of the stone when you're doing deeper work and that the stone comes back into your palm. And that's where your pressure comes from. So if I want to pin and stretch the upper traps, I'll press with my palm. My fingers stabilize the stone so I don't have to squeeze it because they're touching the body. And then I release them both at the same time. And again, pin and stretch. Try not to press too deeply. You should feel through that stone as you develop your technique with working with stones. And then there's a traction that I like to do with the neck. I'll take the flatter surface of the stone, I pin it in at the upper traps, and I glide it up the neck, and then I traction. The hand on the other side of the head stabilizes for me so I can pull with this stone, the, one that has the, the hand with the stone in it. So we glide up and we traction. Now there might be some point work that you might want to do toward the lamina groove. So my hand's resting on the table, fingertips at the end of the stone, and then I just rotate the, stone, the head gently into the tip of the stone. Start to feel the muscle let go, and then you release that pressure, and you can move up a little bit higher, closer to the occipital ridge. I usually get about three points before I get to the occipital ridge. It's nice and easy. I brought another stone to the table just to show you how you can work with different shapes. So this is a very different shape stone from the one that I was working with pre previously. So now I do, I create the shape of the stone. I, I don't try to overpower the stone. And I can do all the techniques that I did previously with this stone, which is obviously of a different shape and size. After we get done here, we're going to be working with a cool stone and applying the similar techniques. So I'll dry this stone off before I use it. And again, I tell my clients I'm working with a cool stone. So I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath and exhale. As I exhale, I apply and I hold. This is going to be a little bit cooler than working on the feet or on the arms or the lower leg. So again, I hold the stone steady and firm so the client gets adjusted to the pressure. If you have a client that's a little bit more sensitive to temperature, you might just want to apply it first right to the occipital ridge because this is going to be a little bit more tolerable for your client, especially if you have somebody on the table that for the past 30 years has been saying, I hate cold. Then you have to be a little bit more gentle with your approach. I do not do hot stone massage. I do hot and cold together 
or I'll do cold by itself. So for more information on stone massage and lubricants, please come to Bonvital at bonvital.com or give us a call at 800-253-6466. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.